Hey guys, John here. Today's pigments patch is called Smooth 80s. This is one of the presets that did not make it to my newest Retro Waves preset pack. So I thought I'd give this one out for free and spice it up just a little bit more. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so this one's pretty easy to make. It's not too difficult here. Most of them are pretty simplistic here as far as the parameters and effects go. But we do have a couple of macros here. We have our traditional cutoff here. If you want to get a little more bright or a little darkened, it depends on your taste. <laughs> Our traditional resonance here and then some nice noise here to kind of bring it a little bit more to life and then all of our effects on the last macro over here which is kind of standard for most of my stuff so uh yeah let's get into it here so the effects let's turn this off over here the so you can sort of turn that off we are using the utility engine as we just saw we're not using the sample engine which is kind of nice we're just using one engine here and the utility engine so pretty uh pretty straightforward for this engine it's very simplistic it's just a downward saw we're doing full volume out for this one and our unison voices we're doing four and the detune is a 1.50 percent and stereo 100 percent so without the filters it would just kind of sound like this <laughs> So not really a bad start at the beginning. And then let's turn our filters back on. It would sound like this. For our utility engine, really what we're actually gonna be using here is that noise that we heard over here, which is getting sent to filter number two, which is the MS-20, and which is on this third macro over here. So yeah, pretty simplistic that for that one there. And then uh, let's turn both of these back on and see how that sounds together. Already kind of has that vibe to it already. And this is kind of one of those examples of minimalism. Like you really don't have to do too many crazy things to get a pretty decent sound out of some. And keep in mind, this is with no effects or none of the ARPs going on or anything like that. Okay, so for the envelope over here, the attack is going to be one millisecond, decay 300 milliseconds, sustain one, release 1.64 seconds, attack curve zero, decay curve negative four. Okay, so let's talk about these filters here. So for the first one, we're gonna be using the Jupiter 8. The cutoff is going to be manually set at 99.5 Hertz. And this is gonna be modulated by the macro one over here, which is cutoff. And every time we hit a note, it's also getting modulated by envelope number two at point zero or 0 0.41 percent i guess 41 percent so if we look at envelope number two this attack is going to be one millisecond decay 500 milliseconds sustain zero release 100 milliseconds attack curve zero and a decay curve negative two and you see here on the retrig sources of the poly keyboard so every time we hit a note it's going to fire off this envelope changing the cutoff value Okay, so basically this filter here is going sent to, or is getting sent to filter number two, which is another MS-20, which is kind of nice to run things just through a filter because I'm not really doing any cutoff or resonance here. I'm just kind of sending it through this filter again or sending it through another filter to kind of pick up the uh, characteristics, the tonality of that filter. Let's turn this noise down here just a little bit. So yeah, so this resonance here is going to be down all the way at zero. The modulation amount on macro two is 0.47. So as we increase this here, it changes the uh, the resonance. And this is kind of a nice filter for this type of sound anyway. So let's take a look at our effects here. So not too bad at all. So the first thing that's trying to be here, the first thing that this thing is going to hit is going to be a reverb. Um, 
And sometimes I generally have a delay, go then go to a reverb, but sometimes it's kind of nice to have a reverb and then the delay happens after, which you're gonna see here in just a second here. So this reverb, the pre-delay is gonna be 20 milliseconds, size one, decay 0 0.460, stereo width 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 15K, and the damping 0 0.60. The manual knob here is going to be zero, but our macro number four is changing it to 0.35 or 35%. So next up, we have that delay here. And it's kind of nice because it's kind of bouncing everywhere. We kind of don't really know where it's coming from. So this delay, the time is going to be one over eight dotted, find zero feedback 0.38. 380 stereo width 0.7 high pass 20 hertz and the low pass 3320 hertz the ping pong is kind of nice here because as you as you heard it kind of just bounces everywhere you kind of don't really know and it's soaked in a reverb it's kind of nice <laughs> The dry wet's gonna be all the way down at zero because it's modulated by macro number four, which is our effects at 0.36 or 36%. And then we hit the nice chorus Juno 6, which really adds a really cool flavor to this on mode one preset. Like I said, this is the mode one preset over here. It's a, quite a nice one here. The dry wet's going to be zero manually, but if we select over here, we can see that is gonna be 0.21 or 21% with the FX knob down over here. I'm not gonna read these values here because it is on the preset, so try to save your time. Last but not least, we hit it with a e, with an EQ, and we had to take a lot out of here. So this is gonna be at about 100 hertz, and we took out about 10.6 dB, because there's a lot of low end in this patch. And once you have a bass in there, and then you have pads, it really builds up that mud and just sounds awful. So that's why you see this drastic curve over here. And then for this one over here, we're kind of just taking out some of that pointy, really sensitive part of our hearing just a little bit here, which is going to be about 1.1K, 1.2K, about something like that. And we're taking about almost 1.5 dB, so negative 1.56 dB. So you can see it's a lot cleaner now. So if we didn't have it before, take a listen to this low end. So with, it, with this EQ off, it sounds like there's a blanket over it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Kind of makes it a little bit nicer there. So uh, that's pretty much this patch. It's not too difficult. The last thing we added here is the sequencer. So you can add this if you want to, making an ARP totally up to you. It sounds nice by itself without the ARP. Sounds pretty cool. But if you could just pop this on here, you can add the uh, arpeggio if you want to, and then you can play cool chords and... So yeah, totally up to you. It's just a click of a button if you want to on or off this, right, this one right up here. So yeah, that's basically this patch in a nutshell. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching. And if you like this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. We'll see you in the next one.